points. In fourth, Olympic Lyonnais with 52 points. Hello and welcome to League One Football. Here's your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. This is Martin Tyler welcoming you to today's match. Alan Smith's going to sit alongside me and give his expert comments in this game from the French First Division. Yeah, pleasure to... He's in at goal! It's Monaco playing. What a chance! Well, that's another goal from a player that they brought in for this season. And it was a very wise move, Alan. I think it was. He's uh, done himself justice. He's uh, proved that uh, he was worth all the effort to bring him to the club. Tweedy. He's got the ball well to set his team on the front foot by intercepting. Baratti. Well, we've got a, a battle within the war today, haven't we, with the player and he's tracking his old teammates. Yeah, and I think it's always an emotional time when you face your former club, so you just want to concentrate on doing himself justice. The referee does blow. The flag was up from the assistant. First touch was good, but he's got to work hard to keep the ball. Gian Moutinho. Great opportunity. It's a good ball, they could be in. In with a chance. Still in play here. The goal news from the Stade Velodrome, Alan McInally. It's a goal for Marseille. It's been scored by Saber Khalifa. I thought he should have hit it first time, but he held on, let two defenders overcommit before placing his shot into the corner. 13 minutes played, 1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. Can he turn away from the challenge here? Malcolm. Without him today, now he's gone and life goes on, Alan. Life does go on, yeah. I mean, it's a, it's a big decision by the football club, but maybe they'll get a replacement in quickly. Penalty at the Stade Velodrome, Alan McInally. It's a penalty for Bastia. About to take it, Claudio Caseru. A slight delay as the ref clears the defenders. Come on, then. Is it a cool finish? Does he go for power? Oh! Never looked confident for me. Off the post. What a chance missed. 24 minutes played. It remains 1-0. Yeah, he's gone too early. He's offside. Kondogbia. Rodriguez. And then he goes with the tackle. So 15 goals he's got now, Alan. Have you been impressed? I mean, you know this job inside out. Yeah, the type of player he is, Martin. I think that's a, a really good total so far. And there's more to come from this lad. A goal from uh, Toulouse. It's a goal for Toulouse. 35 minutes, please. 1-0. Thanks, Alan. He can cross it now. Cross from Shelley. Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Didn't hit it cleanly at all. times do we see a penalty given there but he was so quick he was so brave dangerous moment that pass has really opened them up could it be he's got two now and this campaign has been joyous for him at this new club well he's given them consistency from start to finish goal news from Gangon. it's a goal for ring 43 minutes please 
1-0. Thank you very much, Alan. That's a wonderful pass. Tweeting. Time with the score 2 0. Let's take a look back at the highlights from that first half and then we'll be back with your commentary team for the second half. go with the second half then with Paris Saint-Germain. Can he turn away from the challenge here? Lavezzi. Well, the throw in cut out. It's a quick break. In with a chance. It's a hat-trick. A player that has grown and grown in his first season at the club. Yeah, he has. I mean, he looks like he's been here all his life, the way he's played this year. These days don't come round very often. To get a hat-trick at this level of the game, well played to him. Oh, definitely. He showed great technique as well on both sides. And the score is 3-0. Gianmutinio. Good challenge. Trying to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. He got really tight, the defender there, and snuffed out the problem. Levetsi. And he's dispossessed. Valcao. Options available on the bench for the away side today. And he shoots. Well, that is his so-called weaker foot. It did look weak then. Did and he was reluctant to, to let fly. He had to though. It's his only choice. But uh, I think a bit of work on the training ground wouldn't go amiss. I think there's going to be a change for Paris Saint-Germain. Condogbia. Goal news from the Stade Velodrome. Alan McInally. It's a goal for Bastia. It's been scored by Claudio Kesuru. Mort. Here's the shot. It's another shot for the team. One that works the goalkeeper. Yeah, I'm not sure he caught it properly as well as he would have liked that. Paris Saint-Germain. Are ready to make a switch now for Bastia. Good news from Alan McAnally, our man on the spot. The score is now 2-1. Oh, it's a natural finisher, this guy, looking for another goal. Shots on here. Getting set at the corner. Not the best corner in these circumstances. Manager thinking for the away side, time for a change. That's Ibrahimovic. There is through the middle, and the shot's on. Oh, that zipped on past the keeper, but just past the post. It is time for change, time for change for both teams, as it seems. We're looking at an absentee on the right of midfield for the visiting team today, Alan. Yeah, I mean, whether that's going to be costly or not, it depends on the away team's attitude, how attacking they are. Condog beer. Well, we enjoy 
seeing those tricks tried. It's even better when they come off, which he didn't then. Well, they line up for the corner. That's quite a disappointing corner, really. Defending team by that offside flag. Oh. They think he was on, but when they look at the replays after this match, they'll realise the official made a good call out. Condog beer. Jeremy Menes. Dangerous moment. Coming up, a corner. Disappointing for them, that corner. That tackle has got in the ball. Could be a yellow card here for that foul. Genuine attempt to go for the ball. He just didn't seem to get his balance right there. It was a clumsy challenge. as the shot was on its way and the goalkeeper's fan delighted with his response to it. Yeah, he did well, but he won't want to have to deal with too many more of those because that player is capable of scoring from those distances. It's a comprehensive win by three goals to nil at the final whistle. Well, the game is over and in truth it was quite disappointing simply because it was so one-sided well it was but you've got to admire the professionalism of the team in charge because they kept the foot on the gas they showed no mercy at all well there was really only one team in that game and their fans will be traveling home delighted with their big victory i'll leave you with the full match highlights and until next time i've been jeff selling And now we hand over to Mike West in the studio. Thanks, Martin and Alan. Liga 1, Monaco 3, Paris Saint-Germain 0. Wiengon 1, Stade de Rheims 1. Olympique de Marseille 3, Bastia 1. Toulouse 1, Saint-Étienne 1. Hello and welcome to League One Football. Today it's Saint-Étienne against Monaco. Time we headed straight for Saint-Étienne. Your commentary team, Martin Tyler and Alan Smith. This is Martin Tyler welcoming you to today's match. Alan Smith's going to sit alongside me and give his expert comments on this game from the French First Division. Yeah, pleasure to be here, Martin. Looking forward to it. How about Monaco and their chances in this game? They've worked really hard to get to this point. They were hoping to finish the Champions Cup slot. They're there at the moment. Just keep things together, keep the nerve, and I think they're going to achieve their ambition. He's not been in good form at all, Alan, has he? But he's been picked to start today. Yeah, I didn't wonder about that, Martin, but the manager's kept his faith in him, and uh, we'll see if it works or not out there. 
looking to widen the play, really, widen the build-up, but the ball just runs straight out over the touchline. Rodriguez. Gian Moutinho. Here's a chance to attack. Dangerous moment. Oh! Struck the post here. Great defending there, stopping that attack. Hondog Bien. Here's the shot. Great chance. And he's wasted it. The player, this guy, that the opposition have really got to keep an eye on the form that he's in. Yeah, I mean, his teammates will be trying to give him the ball at every opportunity. He demands it, he can do special things with it. Baratti. in quickly to try and win the ball back. Isimat Mirin, they tried to keep it, but they haven't been able to do that. There's a teammate free in the middle here. Good movement to get to it. Randau. In the news because speculation about him finishing his career. I mean, only he knows when it's right, he might be feeling his body. You know, you need to think long and hard before making such a, a big decision. And it's out for a corner. Goes for goal! Well, the corner wasn't defended at all well, but nor was the chance taken well. No, and they will be relieved because they'd switched off the defenders there. Zuma! Good contact with the header. But the goalkeeper untroubled. Yeah, standard save for him, and he's able to maybe start a counter-attack here. It's a chance! Good judgment there to make that interception and clear the ball away. Renaud Coad. Good challenge from that sliding tackle from the defender. to get in behind the opposition, caught offside. Rafael Varad. Falcao. He's in with a chance. He loves these situations. Made the challenge well. Rafael Varad. Mondo Pia. Coad. Clement, Condog Beer. Rafael Varad. Falcao. Renaud Coad. Clement. Time whistle, nil nil at the break. There's been a lot of effort from these two well matched teams, but nothing decisive. And at half time, it is level pegging here. Yeah, I don't think either side. So the referees happy, the players are in position, the second half gets underway. It's Rodriguez. Midfield, they've got it back via an interception. Well, he's given the free kick, tried to play the advantage, couldn't see one in the end, and I think he was right. Refs allowed them to take the quick free kick. Well, 
Well, we're looking at the visiting uh, side, Alan, and of course that first choice central midfield player is out in a, a big away game for them. Yeah, and uh, I mean, the boy coming in, uh, he's had to sit on the sidelines and, and watch, but he's got a point to prove, I'm sure, so uh, this is his chance. Rizzo. And the opponents come in strongly. Got possession back by intercepting a pass in that wide area. And that ball's gone flying away. Wasted position. Paratti. Gian Moutinho. players are warming up for the home team we'll see surely he's going to score here there was a bit of space to play that into then but i think the defender realized where the point of danger was and he got across to reach the ball good position they've worked this attack very well into a quite a dangerous position now Gian Moutinho giving the ball away now got to cross it they defended well it was looking attacking play too Rizzo Bruno Coad came in with a challenge Johan Bolo now they're helping him out and then he went just diverted it away here is Rodriguez Falcao on the attack here. And now can he score? Takes the shot off. Here's the volley. Oh, it's the post. He got there just in time. In the end, a fantastic clearance. It's up to the referee now whether he's just going to give the free kick and the talking to maybe. We might look back at the end of the match at this decision one way or another. The scores are level. And on he comes to try and tilt the game his team's way and they've cut it out so little between these two teams it's been an absolute thriller these last few minutes should be along the same lines it is a key moment in the match really and the manager here not settling for level pegging he's going to try and do something to put his team into the lead they're both fighting for the ball here didn't look too good for the player with the ball but the defender actually made it awkward for him so it's gone out well, that corner hasn't led to anything disappointing Mevlut Edic and the shot's off Still level, thanks to the goalkeeper. We might look back at the end of this match as the defining save in this contest. Well, now we are going to have a sub. It's a fantastic finale here, and that may well be the winning goal. So after the goal, we've opened the scoring here, 1-0. Renaud Coa. Referee has chosen to add on four minutes. It was good play until they got that challenge in. The referee has acknowledged the flag from his assistant and given the offside. The goalkeeper's done well. Nice clean save. There goes the final whistle, and the final score is 1-0. Well, you have to get the goals to win, but you also need defenders to stop the opposition. These defenders have done a fantastic job today. Well, that's all from us here. Let's join Mike West for the classified results. Thanks, Martin and Alan. Liga 1, Saint-Étienne 0, Monaco 1. Olympic Lyonnais 2, 
Montpellier, 1. Paris Saint-Germain, 3. Olympique de Marseille, 0. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Paris Saint-Germain with 62 points. In second, Monaco with 61 points. In third, Olympic Marseille with 59 points. Olympic Le Liga 1, Evian 1, Monaco 2, Nice 1, Paris Saint-Germain 2, Stade de Rheims 0, Lorient 1. Now let's see what effect that's had on the league standings. At the top of the table remain Paris Saint-Germain with 65 points. In second, Monaco with 64 points. In third, Olympic Marseille with 59 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth, Olympic Lyonnais with 56 points. In fifth, Bordeaux with 55 points. In sixth, Stade René with 53 points. In seventh, Lille with 48 points. In eighth, Lorient with 48 points, but only behind on goal difference. Bottom of the table, FC Nantes with 15 points. And then reading up the table, second bottom, Guyon Jean with 16 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Third bottom, Valenciennes with 17 points, but only behind on goal difference. Fourth bottom, Ajaxio with 17 points. Liga 1, Monaco 2, FC Sochaux 1. Guillaume 2, Evian 1. Lorient 1, Saint Etienne 0. Nantes 1, Ajaxio 1. Olympic de Marseille, 2, Nice, 0. Toulouse, 1, Stade de Rheim, 1. Let's see what bottom, rising up the table, are Valenciennes with 20 points. Liga 1, Ajaccio 1, Toulouse 0. Monaco 2, Lille 1. Saint Etienne 3, FC Sochaux 0. Guillaume 1, Olympic Lyonnais 0. Lorient 2, Paris Saint Germain 1. Olympic Marseille 1, Stade Rennes 1. Bastia 2, Stade de Rennes 1. Let's have a look at what those results mean for tonight's league tables. At the top of the table remain Monaco with 70 points. In second, Paris Saint-Germain with 66 points. In third, Olympic Marseille with 63 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth, rising up the table are Bordeaux with 58 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, moving down are Olympic Lyonnais with 56 points. In sixth, Stade René with 54 points. In seventh, Lorient with 54 points, but only behind on goal one points, with a game in hand on the team above. 
Bottom of the table, FC Nantes with 16 points, with a game in hand on the team above. And then reading up the table, second bottom and falling are Stade de Reim with 20 points, but only behind on goal difference. Third bottom, moving down, are Valenciennes with 20 points. Fourth bottom, climbing the table, are Ajaxio with 21 points. Fifth bottom, rising up the table, are Guillaume. Liga 1, Olympic Lyonnais 1, Monaco 3, Paris Saint-Germain 2, Saint-Étienne 1, Stade de Rime 1, Olympic Marseille 1. So what do those results mean to the league table? At the top of the table remain Monaco with 73 points. In second, Paris Saint-Germain with 69 points. In third, Olympic Marseille with 64 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fourth, Bordeaux with 59 points, with a game in hand on the team above. In fifth, climbing the table are Stade René with 57 points. In sixth and falling are Olympic Lyonnais with 56 points. In seventh, Lorient with 55 points. In eighth, Lille with 54 points, with a game in hand on the team above. Bottom of the table, FC Nantes with 16 points, with a game in hand on the team above. And then reading up the table, second, third bottom, moving down, are Guillaume Jean with 22 points. Fourth bottom, rising up the table, are Valenciennes with 23 points. Fifth bottom and falling are Sochaux with 24 points, but only behind on goal difference. Coupe Nazionale, quarter-final, Monaco 5, Nantes 0, Bordeaux 0, Olympic Marseille 1. Liga 1, Monaco 2, Nantes 0. Saint Etienne 2, Nice 0.